The gentleman from New York is recognized for I thank minutes. the gentleman. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to this resolution, which appears designed to launch a dangerous and unprecedented attack on our law enforcement agencies. Last week, Americans across the country watched the Republican Party melt down the moment it encountered its first test. For days, the extremist wing of the party held the rest of their caucus hostage as they demanded a steep price for their support. And today, we have the first of their many demands on display, an open-ended investigation into whatever conspiracy theories may be headlining the right-wing echo chamber at the moment, with unchecked authority to undermine ongoing criminal and intelligence investigations. For example, the Select Committee can use its expansive authorities to protect Donald Trump, those who persecuted fake, uh, perpetrated fake elector schemes to overturn the 2020 presidential election, insurrectionists facing trials for their crimes, and other domestic terrorists. It aims to undermine the safeguards of our democracy and to embolden MAGA extremists who would rather see our institutions fail than to see Democrats and President Biden succeed. Make no mistake, the Destroy Democracy Subcommittee will enable the House Republicans to interfere with the free operation of businesses they do not like, to inhibit the fight against domestic terrorism, and to settle political scores on behalf of Donald Trump. The Judiciary Committee has serious work to do, but rather than trying to solve the problems of the American people, this new subcommittee will expend untold time and money undermining our nation's law enforcement agencies, our justice system, and our intelligence community, all for, the, for a political stunt catering to the extremist wing of the Republican Party. I oppose this resolution, and I encourage my colleagues to do the same, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Massachusetts.